love and lights you all thank you all so much for connecting to you here there's a full moon in Pisces reading for you Leo and uh, we all have Pisces some in our chart right so wherever let's say Pisces sits in your personal chart there could be a focus on the culmination of uh, that energy space for you so for example let's say that Pisces in your chart let's say cusps your seventh house there could be a focus on matters related to the seventh house that come to a sort of a peak a culmination a point of clarity for you and uh, it can specifically relate to what you might have been focused on around six months um, in, in the past six months ago what you were kind of um, really uh, setting an intention with and uh, emphasizing for a number of you this can actually be a space that is social um, and uh, what does social mean for you it could be related to your work right given that Pisces naturally rules um, the 12th house in matters of uh, in a way the dissolving of boundaries right what kind of connects us all in a certain sense in a certain way so take it as you will uh, dear Leo let's see what comes through here for you and um, it's interesting because I woke up and I was like I've got to do the Leo reading. It was like so, 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 um, so clear on one hand. Um, but on the other, I felt that there was, let's say this somewhat of a bit of a hesitation. Like, I know that I'm gonna be doing that. I'm hearing that specifically. I know I have this vision, I get it. I'm hearing I'm moving in that direction, but there's this space of almost stagnancy. I'm hearing of pressure of what begins the process really um and uh, i'm hearing tricky tricky trade trades for a number of you this could be related to um the the again i'm hearing it in the way of the social paradigm that perhaps is related to what you see yourself carry out in the long term and i'm hearing is is it is it ready yet i'm hearing it specifically that way let me grab the cards for you leo one second and we'll get started with your reading okay we've all been having a beautiful Beautiful, beautiful full moon period as we climb up into this peak. Again, uh, emphasizing here the planet of Neptune, emphasizing the 12th house, matters of transcendence, matters of dreaming. And wherever you find right, that, let's say even Neptune, Pisces plays a certain role in your personal chart, um, there could be a focus on where that sense of even mysticism or what we call magic um, might be playing out for you. And here comes right then and there, the hangman in reverse. Like, here I am. I'm hearing that song. Um, so take a look at me now. All right. Um, <laughs> four cups on the ground there, upside down. Now, um, and the four cups returning right over the father cups in reverse. Now, you came through Leo in the Pisces reading strongly, and there was a really strong emphasis on this archetype of um, Leo and Pisces as well in the extended readings. Um, the 15th and 31st of the month. And those are available right now via the link in the bio box below. Um, so if you are drawn to watch those extended readings, then you can access them there via that link, all right? And once you order, immediately you should receive the email that will include the link for viewing. If you don't, please email me, alchemyandyou at gmail.com, and I'll uh, send it to you there as soon as I get the chance, all right? Father of Swords Upright, right over the hangman reverse. Um, wow, I'm hearing wow. There's been a there's there's been a really um, I'm hearing uh, we I'm hearing awkward. I'm hearing it was awkward. Whatever whatever this energy space was, I'm hearing it was really uncomfortable. I'm hearing as well a storyline that we needed to sort of navigate through. And I'm hearing penetration, penetrating here, penetrating gaze. Whoa, the Father of Swords. I could have sworn that the Father of Swords was riding solo here as the only card that fell over the Father of Cups, but there is the Ten of Wands right beneath the Father of Swords. Like, there is a lot really actually that um, has been involved in the process of interpretation that's been exhausting. Like, someone is actually truly exhausted here. I'm not sure what that's alluding to, but it could be by way of, um, I'm hearing the way that a certain process has moved through. Um, that ha oh, Ten of Swords in reverse. Whoa, extremely exhausting, okay? Like, this is not even. Um, a fantasy anymore I'm hearing it in that way like this is more like what has happened to um, I'm hearing the um I'm hearing the fantasy when uh, we began to. Uh, I'm hearing. Dr I'm hearing drive, drive it over with. Um, I'm hearing with with our. Um, 
I'm hearing with our interpretation. Okay, so someone perhaps felt, well, some, oh, wait one second, Leo. Okay, there is someone here who has a really long history of emotional, um, I'm hearing like, uh, uh, I'm hearing I, I'm hearing in this way exorcism. I'm not sure what that's alluding to, the Eight of Cups up right, and the Magician. Um, and there's a story, I keep hearing there's a story, something that is really, um, not uh, in a certain way perhaps easy to just address in a simple way okay I'm hearing it in the way of you know there are really um, kind of like um, I'm hearing like tricky elements I'm hearing again tricking and trading I don't know what that's a little to hear with the magician mirror the hangman but like there are so many aspects to how this um, this process can also be released. And I'm not sure what that's alluding to exactly for you, Leo, always take it as you are the star in reverse, mirroring the magician, the magician looking at the star, and you got the daughter of pentacles. Someone here perhaps is thinking of making a major move, and it's one that, again, it's like, you know, this is not just like I'm standing on stage and then I'm hearing I'm, uh, I'm, 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 I'm having the audition, I'm hearing it in that way. This is like a matter of I am having the, um, I'm hearing the courage, I'm hearing to speak out about what my love nature really is. I'm hearing it as related to the magician. For a number of you, there's just a matter of acknowledging what you really want, okay? What you really love, what you want to see actually become something I'm hearing uh, into the long term. I'm not sure what that is alluding to, but um, there perhaps are a number of different people that you also see involved, and it could be a community, it can be a certain network, a group of friends, a social circle. What is that space for you, Leo? What really turns you on? I'm hearing it in that way. Um, and it's, uh, again, it's not just like I'm hearing, like, I, I show up and then I perform. It's like, this is a matter of how I, um, I'm hearing ex express, I'm hearing myself, okay? And it's interesting, because I'm seeing an actual, like, an actor, an actress who gets on stage, and it's like, I can read off the lines, yeah, no problem. Give me the script, and I'll, I'll tell you the storyline. But no, I'm hearing, at the end of the day, it's not about how I am so sure of um, what I can, uh, I'm hearing also uh, profess. I'm hearing, this is a matter of how I have undone my own embedded psychology, I'm hearing, my own psychology, that has um, made for me clear, I'm hearing, what my next step and what my next move really is, really should be. And I'm not sure what that's alluding to for a number of you, but I'm seeing that there is a point of absolute transformation where you realize this is a next wave. I'm hearing the jump. I'm hearing, and I've got to meet it face to face. I'm hearing, not make sense of it I'm hearing purely um, but one second I'm hearing proaction okay I'm hearing proactivity for a number of you there is a focus on perhaps the need to as you feel it um, gain clarity of what your next um, also uh, I'm hearing move is going to be I'm hearing publicly all right now for a number of you this might actually be a partnership got the higher front coming through as well looking into the future it could be a um, I'm hearing a uh, I'm hearing um, I'm hearing it could be a. Um, I'm hearing a story. I'm hearing with the Empress and the and the Hierophant. Like I'm hearing, for me, this is a dream. This is a this is a dream that you that you've really had. I'm hearing that you've held on to as well. This energy came through in the Pisces reading, um, and it really it's interesting because the Seven of Pentacles came through and it flipped out, and I connected it right between the Magician and the Hierophant, but it like turned upside down where you can't really see what the card is, and then the magician is still looking at the higher font, higher fonts and reverse, they're both looking into the future. So for number of you, there is a, perhaps a certain, um, also, um, I'm hearing mission that you feel that you're on. One second, um, this might be an actual, though, um, point of translation. I'm not sure what that's alluding to. I'm hearing, um, yeah, okay, I'm hearing of your gifts. Like, one second, I'm seeing that there is, there's a absolute transformation. I'm hearing regeneration and it's challenging. I'm not going to lie, Leo. Like it really kind of puts you on that, on that, on that, uh, I'm hearing that front facing park bench. I don't know what that's what I'm hearing to give the whole, uh, community your, uh, I'm hearing your take there. I don't know again what that's what I'm do, but anyways, Leo, you got the higher phone is looking into the future with the seven of pentacles. Um, and, uh, it's, it's bringing, I'm hearing to light. Here comes the eight of cups again. It's bringing to light and you got seven, eight here, a sequence with the higher font looking again into the future. It brings to light what we, um, have lost touch with. Okay. And I'm hearing it's a matter of, um, recognizing what doesn't serve us. Okay. The five pentacles in reverse. It's like, there are definitely aspects to the way that I navigate. I'm hearing my, my, my own, my own, um, 
my own series of experiences, okay? That makes me realize I'm hearing also where I want to be. I'm hearing, I'm hearing, because there's no place I'd rather be. What's that song? Um, it's like, you know, and it brings really, really, really to a point of clarity. And I'm getting that for no reason. This can actually be a physical space um, that is associated or related to a certain community where you feel like this is home. This is it. I know, I know. I'm hearing Nantucket. I'm hearing the letter N. Um, okay. I'm hearing Naviglio. I'm hearing as well. Is that in Milan? Okay. Two of swords that leads you out. Leo, I'm hearing Pisces so strongly and I feel compelled right then and there to take hold of the hangman. I have fallen on the ground to take hold and we're splitting the deck for the high priestess. Both cards here, the high priestess and the hangman speak to Pisces energy. Um, the high priestess is right over the chariot. For number you're thinking about making a move big time. I'm hearing it's, um, I'm hearing it feels like a balloon though that we need to pop a little bit. I'm hearing in terms of how we are getting ready to present it, the news of it, the Ace of Swords, and it could be also a decision. The Death card here looking at the Ace of Swords. Um, this is communication for a number of you perhaps telling, I'm hearing telling the world, I'm hearing and there's no place I'd rather be. What that song, if anybody knows. All right, um, and it might be tricky though because there could be a number of factors that are involved here. The Three of Swords in reverse could be contractual. Um, a few matters, here comes a fool though, like, that's not gonna stop me, you know? No, 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 I'm hearing when I love, I love. And when I lean, I lean into and I and I go. I'm hearing I make sure that I get on that train. I'm hearing there's no just buying the ticket and not getting on. I'm hearing the uh, I'm hearing the, uh, the Tinsel Town adventure there. I don't know what that's alluding to, but some of you have made a decision. I'm hearing to really, um, I'm hearing, uh, I'm hearing uh, clear, clear the path. I'm hearing to move forward into new pastures. I'm hearing uh, with broad ventures here in mind, the justice card here, drop it on the ground. It could be a contract here that you're thinking of sealing the deal with. For a number of you, this could be even related to adoption. I'm hearing in that way with the fool and the empress, the daughter of cups in reverse. Okay, um, I'm hearing, uh, uh, I'm hearing um, audience. I'm hearing as well, A, 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 U, D, A. I'm hearing the letter A, Audrey, A. I don't know, that's a little bit of the emperor leading you out. Got the emperor and the empress, they are a pair. Okay, I'm hearing Esmeralda. This came through in the Pisces reading. The hangman again coming through right over the emperor. Okay, now there's a lot of, um, I'm hearing there are, there's a lot of uh, uh, pressure here, okay? The strength card leading out of this whole sort of translation uh, period. I'm hearing in that way, the translation period of the Fool and the Hangman. Then the Ten of Pentacles sits at the base of the strength card. There is a lot of pressure, I'm hearing, to make this break finally once and for all. And we realize we're at that point of realizing. <laughs> we realize we're at the point of realizing that there is no reversing. I'm hearing the role here. Um, after we make clear what we admire of that which we play, I'm hearing out loud. I don't know what that's alluding to, but from a number of you, it could be related to how you kind of um, uh, share your side of the story. We could say it in that way. It's like when I am standing before this audience, I'm hearing it in that way. And I am telling my, 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 uh, my, my space, I'm hearing where it stands. When I am sort of um, also showing up, period, and I'm, and I'm acknowledging also my interest in this space, and I'm really standing, I'm hearing before it on behalf of it, um, I realize that I am hearing I've stolen the show. I mean, in a certain way, it's like someone may feel that the way that they throw the ball into the court kind of determines how the game will be played out. It'll, it'll be a, perhaps a negotiation, but I'm seeing for a number of you that um, it's, uh, it's like, it's really kind of reactive as well. And I'm seeing someone throwing almost like a, like they throw the first serve. This came through in the Pisces reading. Okay. They make it like the first hit there of the ball. And, uh, and it kind of like knowingly, it kind of changes the way that the whole game is played. Like the dynamic inevitably changes. Um, and, uh, for a number of you, this is, this has been something that you've, you've expected. And so have others. In fact, I mean, seeing that this is something that has been building where let's say even it is related to your work, your career, your audience, I'm seeing that you know people have been kind of feeling the energy of this space of change growing over time, where they're like, "Yeah, they're going. I'm hearing they're going home. I'm hearing they're they're getting ready to uh, to also. Um, I'm hearing uh, um, I'm hearing Gray's Gray's Anatomy. I'm hearing specifically. I'm hearing with the Hanged Man. I'm not sure what that's alluding to here with the uh, Daughter of Cups as well. Like, this could also be your premonition, Leo, where you're like, "I feel like I'm gonna meet someone." I don't know what that's alluding to, but. Um, it could be uh, even. Um, I'm hearing. I'm hearing the. I'm hearing salamander. I'm not sure what. Once again. I'm hearing 
Sal, I'm hearing as well. Daughter cups coming through in reverse. Um, there's someone that perhaps you you feel you are all, I'm hearing I owe them something. I don't know what that's alluding to, but oh, I'm seeing a soulmate. Someone may feel that there is um, something coming here. You got the Justice card and mirror in the hangman as well. Like, could be speaking of some sort of contract, but it's interesting because the hangman speaks of matters of spirituality. So there could be some kind of like, um, I'm not sure if you already know this person, Leo, with the Daughter of Cups and the Empress. I'm getting like chills for a number of you. There's something that perhaps you got the Emperor and the Empress as well together. It could be also, oh, for a number of you, a baby on the way. Okay, like you're, there's something that um, you feel you you understand also inevitably the evolution of, I don't know, again, what that's alluding to. Like I'm seeing someone even feeling like I'm meeting my soulmate. I don't know, again, what that's alluding to, but I, or perhaps even I feel that I'm going to meet my soulmate. I'm hearing that as well. Here with the hangman and the daughter of cups, I'm getting this feeling of silence, silence with the justice card as well. That's um, that's surrounding the. Uh, I'm hearing the the air in the room. Okay, I, I don't know what that's alluding to, but I'm seeing that. Um, okay, I'm hearing. Um, one second, the two of swords and the daughter of swords. One second, one second. I'm hearing who are they here related to the daughter of cups? Someone might be actually. Um, Sagittarius, Leo. <laughs> Leo, here comes Temperance. The card associated with Sagittarius, looking at uh, the Daughter of Cups. Okay, I'm hearing someone right, maybe actually contacting you. They may be reaching out to you. This could be your energy, you reaching out to someone. I'm hearing they're my follower. I don't know, again, what that might be like to Leo, but I'm seeing that for a number of you, there might be. Um, even something that comes through, it may have to do with, um, I'm hearing the letter S again, S, I'm hearing Sal, I'm hearing here with a higher font coming through in the, in the Ace of Cups and the Justice card, okay, someone perhaps, I'm hearing Salamander, like someone is perhaps thinking of, um, I'm hearing Laney as well, okay, so I'm going to be thinking of making, um, also, an offer to someone. I mean, I'm hearing it may have to do with a storyline. I'm hearing a score, a film score, as well. Okay, three of swords fallen on the ground. One second. I'm hearing there the justice card coming through the higher font, and the the high priest is looking down at the ace of cups, the higher font, and justice card. For a number of you, you be it. This is also your vision. Like you had some sort of dream, or you had a vision of something. You had a premonition about something, and you're like, yep. That's gonna happen. I'm hearing specifically Ace of Swords in reverse, Three of Pentacles in reverse. Um, the Fool coming through again, leading into the future with the Two of Swords right over this Temperance card. For a number of you, there is a focus on perhaps, this could be related to career, this, there's a focus perhaps on promotion. Someone coming through wanting to uh, also make you a certain, uh, I'm hearing invite here, I'm hearing to make you a uh, um, an offer. Okay, the Judgment card coming up right side up with the Four of Cups and the Daughter of Pentacles. Um, the Daughter Cups is remaining at the base of the Hangman, just looking into the future, and we still have the Strength card here in reverse, with the Two of Cups in reverse, okay, and the Magician's looking into the future, wow. This energy came through in the extended September readings big time, with the Magician looking into the future. For a number of you, um, something is perhaps even on hold, again, like something that has been, um, I'm hearing in a certain way redirected the Ace of Swords. Someone may be actually thinking of redirecting a certain space. Like let's say a contract was laid out. Someone may feel like I want to kind of tweak it a little bit. I want to turn, turn, I'm hearing turn the, turn the table a little bit. Okay. And it might be related to a, as well, a certain dynamic that was set that someone feels that ah, didn't really, that wasn't perfect. I'm hearing it could have been, it could have been, uh, I'm hearing, um, it could have been done again in, in, in another way. I'm not sure again what that might be alluding to in particular for you, Leo, but it's um, it's perhaps a space that you feel can be, uh, I'm hearing, again, like almost like renovated even. That's the sort of feeling that I'm getting. Ace of Swords, Mirror in the Strength card, and the Ace of Pentacles upright. I'm hearing you're making a move and you know it. You have the Justice card at the base of the Ace of Pentacles. I'm hearing we've wanted this. We have been living, dreaming, breathing this dream i'm hearing of uh, also i'm hearing uh i'm hearing dressing up uh in a whole new way i'm not sure what that's alluding to but it can be related to a business as well that you carry out into the future um it could be an actual physical move as well for number of you leo i'm seeing that it is uh, related though specifically to how you communicate with your audience i'm hearing in that way okay the strength card is in reverse again mirroring the star in reverse and we've been really meditating on this space 
go long and hard, long and hard, and the feeling has been, when is it going to kind of become more, uh, I'm hearing realistic, I'm hearing in that way as well, where perhaps you're like, I have the dream, I have a vision of myself settling down somewhere. And, um, and it's interesting, because I'm seeing someone who actually has been, like, they've got this vision of themselves in a certain way. And they're like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make that happen. I'm hearing, I'm gonna make that real. I'm gonna, I, you know, I see myself living on, uh, I'm hearing, I'm hearing the, the fountain. I'm hearing the, the ring. I don't know what that's about. I'm seeing like water that traces a coast, but it's like, a, it's kind of like, I'm hearing fountainous. Okay. Like mountainous, fountainous. Okay. And it's like, I'm hearing the playa. Okay. The, the vista. Okay. And it's like, I'm seeing like somebody had this realization was like, not questioning it, but was kind of like sitting there, um, I'm hearing, watching Grey's Anatomy. I don't know what that's alluding to, but anyways, okay, and it's like, yeah, okay, wait a second. I'm hearing, I need to I need to get up off of this couch. I'm hearing, and start to ride my bike over there. Again, I don't know what that's alluding to here with the justice card coming through, but I'm seeing that, it, that it's almost like this feeling of, again, I know that I want to move in that direction. Um, and, um, for a number of you, this might actually be a space that you feel is related even to weather or some sort of pattern, some sort of, um, uh, I'm hearing, um, process of also revelation that is somewhat cyclical, but is also somewhat, um, a matter of your will. Like when you decide to get up and move into that space, you, you can sort of make it happen. I'm not sure what that's alluding to exactly. Always take it as you will, interpret it as you do the Ace of Pentacles here coming through right over the Ace of Swords. And, um, it's a decision. I'm hearing it that way. It is a decision when we begin to move in that direction. But again, I'm seeing someone almost like, they're like, yeah, I see myself there. Okay. But there's been so much a question of when we begin to remodel, I'm hearing remold, reshape, re, re recognize even the fine print. I'm hearing that, that, that we write, I'm hearing to ourselves, um, as a reminder to make the change interesting. Okay, I'm seeing that someone even like wrote out a contract and they like wrote it out to themselves, but then they wrote in this little like, this little like bubble. I'm hearing a notation that would be a reminder to themselves. Like, don't forget to edit this like six months down the line. Like, I, you know, there's one part of the contract. Don't forget. We don't want to be, I'm hearing, we don't want, we don't want to be stuck there. I'm hearing as well. Two of Pentacles in reverse, eight of cups upright in the sun. And I'm seeing someone like, kind of like they have this this contract and they're like okay i know i need to revise it i know that i need to get back into that i'm hearing as well i need to get back to that drawing board there a little bit two of cups in reverse and the strength card the ace of pentacles and this could be someone that you had reached out to a certain point in time who you told yourself you know i, I, I we're gonna we're gonna reconnect on that point at a certain point in time i know it i'm hearing i know it um but it's almost like again this feeling of you know, I understand with somewhat of a feeling of vagueness where I eventually uh, turn to. I'm hearing, and where I eventually um, will will be talking uh, out of the space of. I'm not sure again what that's alluding to in particular. For a number of you, it could be again related to a point of um, publicity, even where and how you see yourself holding your your. I'm hearing your 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 space publicly. Again, I don't know what that's alluding to, but again, always take it as you will. Um, now. But at the same time, it was like, again, I see myself in this space. I have this sort of hazy also idea, this, this vision of my, of my, of myself. Um, I'm hearing, uh, in a, in a new, in a new love story, I'm hearing as well in a new fairy tale, but I'm hearing where, where, where is, I'm hearing, where are the rest? I'm hearing as well of the, uh, I'm hearing of the, of the pieces I'm hearing of the puzzle. So there could have been this feeling of like, I've got a vision. Okay. I have even a premonition. But at the same time, it's like, I feel that there is somewhat of an alleyway that I need to introduce myself to, <laughs> I'm hearing a little bit, to understand how it is exactly that I begin to make my way towards that, uh, that time and place, nine of wands in reverse, the daughter of pentacles. And this could be actually related to a so social community. It could be related to matters of also um, contractual work. I'm hearing in that way for a number of you where it's, uh, a matter of how am I going to really get this project off the ground? I'm hearing in that way with the lovers, the four of pentacles and the magician. Now for a number of you, it really has to do with your, um, I'm hearing with your, with your, with your redirection of your resources. It has to do with your investment, has to do with your funding. I'm hearing as well. How are you actually taking your resources, be it your time, be it your energy, be it also your physical presence. And where is that sort of all adding up to with the devil here looking off into the future of the 10 of pentacles for a number of you, perhaps 
perhaps some, there is again a big, a big movie I'm hearing screen that you see yourself um, somewhat, um, I'm hearing underestimating the value. I'm not sure what that's alluded to here with the Father of Cups. Like there could be some aspect of um, this project that you feel you haven't quite like come, come to grips with. Again, I don't know what that exactly is alluding to, but it could be related to how you see um, your, your, yourself involved in a certain space, especially on an emotional level. Okay. With the Ace of Swords in reverse, and this could be also, um, you wanting to communicate an aspect of your work in a certain way that you feel, um, you haven't quite yet fully, um, confirmed at least in your mind, the justice card in reverse and the judgment card of right, um, at the base here of the hanged man in reverse. Okay. Now, um, there is an envelope, very specifically, there is an envelope that has been left open-ended. Um, now, what does that mean exactly? <laughs> okay, we've got the Hermit in reverse, and the Two of Cups in reverse, and the Ten of Swords in reverse. There is perhaps some aspect, I'm hearing even like a project, some area also of your life that you feel, um, I haven't like made made my mark here yet. I'm hearing it in that way. I, I'm not, I'm hearing, I'm not, I'm not done. I'm hearing as well. Um, I may have started it, but I'm having, I'm hearing, I haven't sealed the deal. Okay. And, um, for a number of you, uh, this is interesting. This actually came through in the Scorpio reading. It was the September overview thematic general September Scorpio reading. Um, the overview thematic general September reading for Scorpio that is available via the playlist link in the bio, uh, not in the bio box, but via the channel playlist, you click alchemy and you, and you'll get right out of the playlist. There should be, um, September 15th, uh, September 1st and 31st readings and the Scorpio read there, I believe had that title. Um, we must seal this letter of love for it to be delivered. I believe it was something like that. Leo, um, if you've got a lot of Scorpio in your chart, I'm hearing there is, um, I'm hearing there's a certain, um, I'm hearing, um, step that you see yourself taking that, um, you're really kind of, you're really reviewing. I'm hearing to a level and to a degree that's like, I'm hearing, it feels like, uh, I'm hearing anatomy. I'm hearing also autonomy. I don't know what that's like, but this is like the third time that anatomy has come through in this reading. Grey's anatomy, Grey's anatomy. Okay. But, um, anyways, so Leo, you got the Ace of Cups and the Father's Swords and the Ten of Swords in reverse. Um, there is perhaps some kind of reality check. I'm hearing in that way that someone feels they are, need to come to real soon. It may have to do with matters, again, of contractual work or even a decision where it's like, I'm hearing this is not working for me. This situation, this this space, I'm hearing the storyline is not is not working for me. I'm hearing it again in that way. And I feel like I need to rewrite. I'm hearing the principles as well. I'm hearing of the contract. I'm hearing draft. Okay, now for a number of you, again, this may actually be a move daughter pentacles in reverse okay it's like it could even be something where you moved in like really really recently i don't know what that's alluding to when you're like i need to get back out again i don't know what that's about but um anyhow the magician looking off in the future now i'm hearing that the ball is in your court leo there are a few strings attached to that you feel you need to uh i'm hearing work with in hindsight i don't know what that's about mother pentacles mirroring the magician like there is perhaps a space that you feel you 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 need to re re release even okay interesting with the world the higher font and the father swords um that you're actually um again i'm seeing like a lot of pressure like there's perhaps even social pressure in some kind of way to make a certain um move to make also a certain um communication like public and i'm seeing that it's kind of tricky because there is um somewhat of a dance that needs to be danced out um i'm hearing in like a formal way in order to do that where it's like if i were to do that like let's say step out of the contract or whatever it is i would need to like go to the principal's office i'm hearing have a, have a good talk with i'm hearing uh, uh i'm hearing i'm hearing uh, uh sal i'm hearing a, i'm hearing the letter s i'm hearing felicia i'm hearing um I'm hearing the letter S again, and it's like we would need to sit down and really talk about all of the uh, corners of the room of that office. <laughs> the judgment card upright and the father cups in reverse. And for a number of you, it's not something that you feel you really hold um, the pen in your hand with, okay? Like in a certain way, like it may be something that is um, kind of, um, I'm hearing 
it feels like it's somewhat cyclical even, like it's something that perhaps has a few stages to it that you need to kind of move through and it's not so simple, <laughs> we'll just kind of say it like that. Leo, it may actually require somewhat of a bit of practice, I'm hearing auditions as well, um, with a ton of pentacles in the fog, so it could be an interview as well that, that might be um, coming up. But Leo, all right, now the strength card here is in reverse, the world is upright, I'm hearing it's a mission and we need to remember that. I'm hearing, and it's not something that always feels um, entirely possible. The seven of pentacles are bright, the ten of pentacles are bright. Not to say that, you know, there is a loss of hope or a lack of clarity of vision, no. But I, what I'm getting is that it's more so a matter of, you know, the path that leads there is not always um, one that we feel is quite stable. And I'm seeing someone like almost needing to make their way across a bridge. And this bridge is somewhat aligned by, I'm hearing these, uh, I'm hearing these platform steps that don't feel like they're really, uh, they're, they're really stable, I'm hearing, or suspended. I don't know what that's alluding to, but I'm seeing again a bridge and it's like, they're almost like these leapfrog pads that are made of so much stone that feel like they're shaking when you step on them. I don't know again what that's alluding to, but um, there's perhaps for a number of you this feeling that we are in transition and it's um, it's not something that we can just kind of trace, okay? I'm hearing the lines of, uh, and uh, in, in, a, in a clear way. This is a matter of how we are telling our story, okay? Mother of swords in the world, like, this is not always something also factual. Ten of swords in reverse fall on my, on my lap. This is not something that we can always kind of figure out as well. This is somewhat of a feeling space that we remember, I'm hearing through the process, and that is the point of recognizing how we get there. Okay, interesting. Wow. Father wants leading into the future. I'm hearing, one second, with the world and the father wants. There's somewhat of a space of, um, I'm hearing re, re, reconnection with also the dream space that, um, as a number of you might feel it is everything. Oh yes. The nine of cups coming through upright. Like this is a really a matter of recognizing what makes you turned on I'm hearing in that way about whatever this next journey is whatever this next step is it's really a matter of uh, also um, I'm hearing repeating I'm hearing your own vows out loud I'm hearing to yourself and I'm hearing your teacher as well I'm not sure what that's alluding to but it's somewhat of a space of like making very obvious okay what your action um, of desire is what again turns you on what makes you feel like you are starting the show I'm hearing in your way right okay so it's like I'm not just gonna kind of like rewind the tape and then sing it again and make everyone feel like it's my story okay I'm hearing no this is a matter of what I see myself um, I'm hearing releasing the I'm hearing objective perspective of I'm not sure what that's alluding to but it's like I don't want to look into my work through a seeing eyeglass and feel like I am uh, kind of creating it okay again I don't know what that's alluding to but I'm seeing for never be you're almost like wanting to invert from the process of how you carry your work out that has kind of made you feel that you needed to situate yourself um, as a director in that space in a certain way where it's like I need to be this type of person to create that type of work. Now I'm seeing two people who are dressed almost identically and they are, um, they've got these seeing eye uh, poles that they're kind of, uh, they're tapping forward with and uh, they've got these green hats, blue shirts um, and this, uh, this, this came through this sort of, and they're walking in the same, the same area um, as in the, the this, area, this exact sort of energy came through in the Pisces reading and I'm seeing 32, 32 and I'm seeing 33 now, 32 reducing to five, five plus five, 10 reducing down to one. All right. So for a number of you, the Ace of Cups here coming through for a number of you and they really, they look like twins. Um, nine of cups and the ace of cups for a number of you the father of a pentacle the father of a cups i'm getting shivers here for you leo father of pentacle, father of cups with the ace of pentacles okay uh and the magician now <laughs> whew, someone's perhaps getting an offer we'll say it like that but as well um again let's back this came through in the pisces reading and uh, as well i believe it was in the score yes scorpio reading there was like this focus on duplicates okay um now I'm hearing remember, I'm hearing the November, I'm hearing um, seven, I'm hearing 11, seven, 11, November 11th, I'm hearing seventh. I don't know what that's alluding to, but I'm hearing, the, uh, I'm hearing the passage, the diary, the hierophant right over the two of pentacles. Okay. There perhaps was something that came through. I'm hearing back in November, I'm hearing uh, Sherry, I'm hearing Sherry. I don't know. I'm seeing S-H-E-R-R-Y. 
Ten of Swords right over the, the, the Strength card and the Magician. There was perhaps some kind of, um, some vow I'm hearing as well that was made. I don't know what that is alluding to. Okay, I'm hearing again, Seven and Eleven. There was something of a, of a uh, I'm hearing a process even, a procedure, yep, justice here coming through as well. Even a contract that was laid out, that was made official, um, that, um, that that is now to be carried out. I'm almost seeing like someone like proposing to someone and then it's like that space comes through. I'm hearing as a marriage now. And I don't know what that's alluding to, but something here comes mother swords as well. Mother of Pentacles, it could even have been an inner, uh, one second. Um, an event that you attended, okay? Um, that was related to investment. I'm hearing funding, like something that um, is now being uh, also reround. I'm hearing a re, re revisited as well. It could be again a contract that's that's being reviewed even and uh, released. Wow. Okay. I'm hearing publicly. I'm hearing uh, publicly. The moon in reverse. The sun of swords of bright and the seven of swords of bright mirroring the sun of swords. Okay. Someone here has a lot to say. Uh, a lot to say. It's been a process. They've been really um, learning through. I'm hearing it. Uh, the Sun of Swords here with the Moon in reverse. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. This one's got a lot of Leo, I'm hearing as well, strongly placed in their chart. Not sure what that is alluding to, but let's say you're dealing with someone who is a Sun sign Scorpio. They could have a lot of Leo in their chart by way of the Moon sign, house placement, a lot of planets in the fifth house, strongly placed Sun, so on and so forth. Um, if you'd like to get to know your chart a little better, um, and you would like to take a one-on-one -on -one approach to that, I have a number of services that speak specifically to analysis of the birth chart. You can book those services via the links in the bio box below. Um, let's say that you're a sun sign Leo and you're like, I want to learn more about my chart. Oh, what, what else? What, what, what archetypes, what signs are prominently placed in my chart? Um, we have all signs, right? But some may be absolutely more strongly accentuated, emphasized in the chart than others. If that is a focus for you, then uh, you can um, you can take a look and deeper dive with those services there. Again, via the link in the bio box below. And um, thank you all so much for again tuning in, connecting here. Ten of Cups, Ten of Cups. I said Ten of Pentacles. Coming through mirroring the Nine of Cups. Um, it's a whole new world. I'm hearing that. Wait, it's something that it, it is the beginning point. I'm hearing it's a culmination. For me, this is related to your career, perhaps even related to. Um, I'm hearing your your vision. Okay, this is a dream. Thank you so much for tuning in. Love and light to you. Leo, have all a beautiful, beautiful full moon and uh, in Pisces. Have a beautiful September. And the extended readings are now out and available. You can access those via the links in the bio box below. Feel free to click through there and you'll get routed to watch um, the signs of interest. Thank you all so much for tuning in, for your dear support, and I'll see you soon. Bye, Leo.